Transition Heathrow is a transition town project uh, based on the Transition Towns model um, which is recognised now across the world um, which set up in support of the residents who face losing their homes around Heathrow so 700 homes face completely being tarmacked over for a third runway they want to build which would have made Heathrow Airport the biggest uh, Pluto in the country. For a start they've utilised a piece of land that was being frankly abused by the landowner. This site was a site in the past that was a dumping site. There was massive amount of um, fly tip rubbish here or de deposited car parts, car braking, fuel tanks, all, all manner of things on this agricultural land. Um, they have been evicted by the council already and um, they're not they're not welcomed in this community um, whereas we are welcomed by the local community and they want us to stay and we've come in and we've removed 30 tons of rubbish it was only a good thing it's got to be better than what the poverty that was here before and that's why I became involved three farms I think on here uh, back in the 30s and 40s and I think the government at the time compulsory purchased or acquired those three farms to sort of run uh, a small aer aerodrome and they were promised that that land would be given back to them once the, the war was over basically uh, but there never was. So that's where Heathrow comes from, the airport and I think you know part of our aim here is to sort of reverse that process and retake back the land for its original purpose, which is for growing food. There's lots of really productive things going on all the time, uh, such as bike workshop or growing vegetables, planting vegetables. Um, we've got chickens on site, so we have eggs for breakfast, um, we've got a lot of salads, um, chilies, aubergines, a whole variety of vegetables. I like using the art space here, it's really nice. Um, we're doing an art project at the moment, uh, working with the community uh, to make a big recycled garden. Which is really exciting. And everything which is on site has been donated by the community. People who've donated stuff come here and say, oh, that's my settee or that's my something and feel it has that homely feel about it. There's loads of local residents that come here all the time, which is really nice. There's a core group of people that live here and then there's people from the community, local residents who come and take part in the workshops. And then, you know, there are people who maybe just are walking by and notice something beyond the fence and see the meadow and go, what's that? And they ring the bell, come in and have a cup of tea and, and stay, you know, and that's really nice as well. What they've done is they've been a completely open community space. Anyone can ring that bell at the entrance and they'll open the doors and let you in. A group of neighbours, really. Uh, that's what they are, and very good neighbours at that because not only myself, but they make everyone welcome that comes here. You know, I've met um, a great many people from the three villages here uh, and made a lot of very, very good friends. That's kind of at the heart of it, really. It's just, you know, we wouldn't be here without their support, so it's, it's so great to kind of get that support back from them. And as a result, you know, it's become a hub. This is the only community space, open community space we've got. We've been here for a year and a half, um, and we're now facing a third attempt to remove us from this land. I'm gobsmacked that they could be forcibly removed when they're doing so much good for our community here. So there's four things that we're asking people to do. Number one, sign the petition, sending us a statement of support. You could also take part in our photo campaign and send that to our website. And number four, most importantly, is to get down to Uxbridge County Court in Hayes on November 17th at 9.30am for a big show of support outside court. This is worth fighting for.